Hey, how you guys doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So anyway, what I did here, I connected my Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition to my 2008, early 2008 Samsung Plasma 47-inch TV. It's a 10 years old Plasma TV and it still works after 10 years. Uh, when I first bought this in 2008, uh, you know, 720p was a big deal. This is when we had that uh, HD DVD versus Blu-ray kind of a war going on. Uh, this one supports both 720p and 1080i interlace. And 1080i interlace was kind of a big deal back then. Oh, you got a 1080i interlace? Wow. So we were getting that 16 by 9 you know, it was the beginning of HD. You know, it's when HD high definition kind of took over over DVDs and and the Blu-ray and HD DVD were going at each other's throat. And then of course Blu-ray won with a 1080p pixel. Then we had start seeing more and more 1080p televisions being released in 2009 and 2010. So anyway, this is a 10 years old plasma Samsung TV that I have. And I connected it to my Xbox One X. And I have to say, um, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it still looks good. Fairly good, considering this is running on the interlace. It's a 1080 interlace. Also, uh, you guys have to remember that the HDMI that I have on this Samsung Plasma TV, which is a 2008 version, it's the first generation of that HDMI the very first HDMI generation, the very first entry-level generation of HDMI. So uh, don't expect it to, to look great. And of course, the Xbox One X HDMI 2.0, it's really not compatible that much with the uh, this HDMI, but it's still compressing the picture. Uh, it's trying to compress it the best it can. And, you know, I'm not expecting quality resolution-wise to be perfect here. It's not going to be. But still, regardless, you're still getting graphical enhancements. See, this is the point that I'm trying to make here. And this is exactly what Phil Spencer was talking about. Let's say you're dirt poor. And all you have is this TV. I don't know your situation your financial situation, your life situation, what you might be in. I'm not here to judge. But let's say you are one of those unlucky ones, you know, that you have an old TV and somebody bought you a Project Scorpio for Christmas as a gift or whatever. And this is all you have. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to getting the best experience from the Xbox One X connecting it to a, such an old TV like this. But even with this kind of a TV, a 1080i interlace, plasma, which plasma does have a great viewing angle uh, similar to the OLED. You know, you can watch it from any angle. Looks great. However, you still will be getting graphical enhancements. See, the textures are high here. They're detailed very high. Uh, the smoke effects, uh, the particle effects... You know, uh, the volumetric light, draw distance, everything here, still it's there. So my point here is, even if you don't have a 4K TV, even if you don't have a 1080p television and all you have is 1080i interlace television or 720p television, you're still going to be enjoying the graphics. And I think this is the important part that, Phil Spencer was trying to come across, even if you don't have uh, all of these high-end televisions, you're still going to be enjoying graphical enhancements on the Xbox One X. And I'm showing you that proof right here with a 10 years old plasma screen television that I have. Okay, I also have a LG... 3D television from 2012. I think it was 2012. Might have been 2010. I'm not sure. It could be 2011, I think it was. 2011. 
my LG 47 inch 3D TV, which is still good. Uh, the 3D works good. All right. But it's somewhere in the basement. I have to go look it up. I have to find it. You know, I have to check it out. Uh, I do have a basement and I think it's there somewhere. I have to look into it. Uh, I might do some tests on that as well. But my whole point here is, look, look at the textures on that soldier. It still looks great. Now, resolution sucks. And, you know, obviously the colors here are not that great because it doesn't have a white color gamut. There's no HDR. So you're stripping down a lot of features off. But you're still getting that graphical enhancement. And I think this is the key point that people need to understand about the Xbox One X. You're still getting that graphical enhancement. All right. Here, let's let's go jump into the tank. Let's do this really quick. And a lot of people have been asking me, hey, is the Xbox One X worth it? And the best way for me to answer that question is, this is how I personally grade any product, any device. What is it valued to you? It, your money, it's your money that you're going to be cashing out, all right? You're buying it for yourself. Whatever device you buy, remember, you're not buying it for someone else. You're buying it for yourself. So you got to ask yourself, what is it valued to me? Okay, what what am I getting in return with this console? What is it, what type of value am I getting spending $500 here? And for me personally, and I think to a lot of people, uh, with the Xbox One X for $500, you're definitely getting your value here. You're getting a lot of features inside this box. You're getting a near identical uh, premium PC towers, premium PC laptop type of graphics here with direct textual architecture. You're getting 4K, you're getting HDR. All your existing games will look much better on it. Uh, you're getting a 4K player. You're getting 4K streaming on the apps. So you're getting a lot of goodies here for $500, okay? And even if you don't have a 4K HDR television like you're seeing right now, you're still going to benefit with a graphical enhancements and a better performance than as if you were using it with the Xbox One S. And here I am doing that representation with a very old, 10 years old plasma screen television right here okay so hopefully you know this gives you that idea just on why xbox one x it's regarded so highly and why is it top selling console right now that that's sold out everywhere <clears throat> good luck finding one <clears throat> excuse me and there's a good reason for that you know so should you upgrade from the xbox one s well, you don't have to. You don't have to, but uh, you should. If you ask me, my opinion, I think you should. Uh, you'll be getting a much better uh, graphical enhancements, much better performance. Everything, everything will run much faster and smoother. So why not? And especially if you have a 4K HDR television, trade in that Xbox One S. Put some money aside, save some money, get the Xbox One X, man. Come on. So here I am now on the plasma, and like I said, it works great. Now, this is 1080i interlace, and even with the 1080i interlace, look at my controller. I'm still, like, getting a good performance here, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shit, did I just kill my own? Fuck, dude. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, kill this bastard. Oh, look at that. So, you know what I mean? You're still getting a good performance, even on this 10, 10 years old uh, plasma screen TV.
Okay, so uh, I showed you a Call of Duty. Now we're going to jump into some other game. Let's see. Let's see how Forza 7 looks on this. All right. Let's 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 see that. You know what? Forget Forza 7. Let's jump into Star Wars Battlefront. I want to see how Star Wars Battlefront looks on this thing uh, really quick. All right. So let's go ahead and let's jump into Star Wars Battlefront 2. You know what, guys? Let's jump into uh, Gears of War 4. I'm sorry. Let's go leave this and let's jump into Gears of War 4. All right. Let's do that. And look how quickly it loads. Uh, from one game to another, this is the kind of speed and performance you're getting. It didn't take a few seconds. Actually, I cannot do Gears of War because the Gears of War needs uh, an update 3.1 gigabytes. Okay, so I'm gonna, I cannot be waiting to be updating 3.1 gigabyte update. Uh, I'll check on that update later on to see what's new. But uh, what we're gonna do next, we'll do Forza 7. Let's do Forza 7 really quick. Let's jump into it. And let me adjust my uh, camera angle a little bit better here. Okay, so you guys can see a little bit better. Now, there's nothing I can do about the uh, the glare. You know, this is a glossy plasma screen. There will be a glare. So there's nothing I can do about that, okay? Meaning you're going to see me there, all right? So, all right, here's 4 to 7. So let's continue a career. Let's uh, let's do this. Okay, so here we are at uh, Mazda Raceway uh, Laguna Seca, <clears throat> and uh, let's check it out. Let's start the race. Here we go. I mean, it looks nice. You know, like I said, you're still getting a graphical enhancement. So here I am on a ten year old, uh, ten years old plasma screen TV and I'm still getting that graphical enhancement and the performance from the Xbox One X and I think this is a testament I purposely chose my oldest TV that I have here which is plasma from 2008 just to show you that even with this old old plasma screen TV which probably is not worth even 50 bucks or not even 100 bucks maybe 50 bucks that's how old this TV is, and the value of it, it's really not that great. With a 720p, and then 1080i interlace resolution. But here I am. Yet here I am. Even with this uh, old television. With the Xbox One X, I'm still getting a same exact quality graphics here. Now... 4K resolution stripped down, HDR stripped down, Y color gamut stripped down. There's a lot of stuff missing here, and I'm getting a lousy interlace vertical lines uh, resolution. It's not even pixel by pixel. So, you know, I'm not getting like a super high end experience here that I should be getting from the Xbox One X. But hey, even if you don't have 4K, even if you don't have a 1080p, how about this? Even if you don't have a 1080p television, HDTV, if you, even if you don't have an HDTV, 1080p television, you still are getting a same graphical enhancements here. And I think that's something that a lot of people are, are not talking about. And I don't see, quite frankly, I have to call out Digital Foundry. All right, Digital Foundry, we get it. Uh, you testing on a very high end uh, QLED or OLED television sets? We get it. If you're testing on a high end 4K television sets, yeah, they're gonna look great. How about Digital Foundry? Why don't you connect it to like a very, very old TV, like I am right now, and you will see that you're still gonna be getting that same graphical enhancements and a performance. And here I am. Here's my controller just to show you. Okay, you know. It's playable. It looks good. I can still see the textures. Uh, you guys might not be able to see it through this camera, but I still see the textures. All right, I still see the uh, detail that need that needs to be seen. Here, I'll go to a photo mode. Let's go to a photo mode. We'll examine this. Okay, so I'm still seeing textures, high quality detail textures here. <laughs> All right, and I'm still seeing decals. I'm still seeing high polygons. 
Uh, I still see anti-aliasing and uh, tessellation, draw distance. I'm still seeing all of that. Even when this old TV on plasma, I'm still seeing that. And it really kills me that I'm the only guy mentioning this on a YouTube channel. Even without 1080p television, even without 4K television, you're still getting a better graphical enhancements and a performance. That's exactly what Phil Spencer said. And here I am as his testament uh, acknowledging that that it is true. All right. Now, I don't, re I don't recommend that you be playing your Xbox One X on a 10 years old television. I'm recommending if you're going to buy an Xbox One X, you want to feed it to, to the best possible 4K television. All right. Now, QLED, Q7F, it's definitely one of those television sets that will uh, give you that higher peak brightness with uh, true rich colors. Uh, you're not going to be getting those deep dark levels, but you're going to be getting that peak brightness and the true uh, deep full wide color palette uh, gamut of colors with that higher peak brightness of 1500 nits to maybe even higher depending on uh, the game and uh, on your HDR peak brightness that you have selected. So let this be a living proof that there are benefits from upgrading from the Xbox One S to the Xbox One X. Huge step forward. Okay? And it looks good. You know? It looks good. I'm still getting those graphics. I'm still getting that high... Uh, polygon detail. I'm still getting the higher textures. I'm still getting that draw distance. All right. And I'm still getting that same performance here with 60 FPS. So, and I'm doing it on a very old, very old television set. So that's something that should be taken into consideration, you know? And I'll guarantee you, I'm probably the only guy on YouTube that's doing this, that's actually even thought about doing this. You're not going to see uh, Lou from the Unbox Therapy doing this. You're not going to see uh, I, I, Justine doing this, Lamar, Boogie. You're not going to see these guys doing this. Okay? Hell, you're not going to even see Linus Tech Tip, even though that guy in Canada has every freaking monitor, old and new, that he could do all these tests. But you're not going to see him do that. Why? Because uh, it doesn't make him any money. He needs to be paid. He needs to be sponsored by somebody to do that. Okay? That's what these guys do. And that's the difference between me and other YouTubers, all right? I'm just a regular guy that has a passion for this kind of stuff. And I go out of my way, even though it's not my main job, I go out of my way to do these videos for you. And I know you guys appreciate me doing all of this stuff. But I just want you to remember that I tell you exactly the way it is. I do tests and I test it and I tell you what I'm seeing. You know, Now, you don't have to agree with me. You can disagree. But remember, I went out of my way to do these tests. And everything that Phil Spencer said, it is true. He did say a year ago, even if you don't have a 4K television, you're still going to be having a better graphical enhancements and better performance. And it's true. And here I am being testament to that truth. So everything he said is true. There is nothing that he said on there or hyped out anything about this console that's not true. Everything he told you, it is 100% true. Okay? So, let that be a testament here on what Phil Spencer said. Now, I'm not trying to kiss Phil Spencer's ass or try to be like his advocate. I'm just simply saying I'm giving the guy credit because everything he said about the Xbox One X Project Scorpio, it's true. There's nothing that he said in the past that it was like a lie or something that he made up. No. 
Okay, even though fanboys will go out of their way to create controversy, drama, clickbait videos to do that. So there you have it, guys. That's my video for the plasma. It is still works, knock on the wood. It still works. All right. And uh, there you have it. For those of you who think that uh, I'm kind of new to this thing, that I never had televisions in the past, or I don't know any anything about the televisions, or guys, I've been around too long to know. I had every television you can think of. Okay. I tried all three generations of OLEDs. I have tried many different types of TVs, panels in the past, from 1080i, 1080p, 1080p uh, plasmas, high-end plasmas, low-end plasmas, okay? I have tried a variety of different monitors, G-Sync, FreeSync monitors, okay? Uh, ultra wide screen monitors. I tried all of that stuff, guys. That there's nothing that I haven't tried in the past, and I have over close to 2,500, 2,600. It's gonna be near 3,000 videos in less than 12 months. 3,000 videos in less than three, uh, less than 12 months. 3,000 videos, and those 3,000 videos in less than 12 months. I have nothing but credibility to back at, to back it off. To back it up, I'm sorry. To back it up, not to back it off. To back it, to back it up. All right, I have nothing but credibility to back it up. To that, can't fucking talk. <laughs> back it up. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. You know, haters gonna hate because they're a jealous bunch. And I'll say something else here before I end this video. If I didn't start this, and this is true, I don't care if you like this. Or I don't care if you don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you to you like it is. No one was doing this. Taking out their cameras in front of a TV, connecting their PlayStation to Xbox One S, doing all these variety of different tests. No one was doing this until I started doing it back in late August of 2016. Late August of 2016, no one was doing this. Everybody was doing vlogs with cameras. Uh, everybody was uh, doing capturing via their Elgato, okay, or AV, AVR media capture cards. They were all using capture cards. No one was doing what I was doing. Ever since I started doing this, I kind of pushed the ball and everybody started doing it. And, and hey, I'm glad that I have influenced a bunch of you out there to be doing this all right even though some of you backstabbed me all right i don't know why probably because of jealousy you want a quick success or whatever the hell is it uh you're never gonna get that quick success by doing that by giving me a cheap shot or by backstabbing me you're never gonna get there okay my subscribers are smart they can see who is who who is what who is not all right so but i just want to acknowledge that not to brag about myself I'm glad that more and more people are taking an interest in this and are are doing this and are like passionate about 4K, are passionate about televisions, are passionate about calibrating. I'm glad that I pushed that ball. And I'm not asking any accolades, okay? Just like uh, I never asked Microsoft for any accolades for all the Xbox One S's that I sold in Boost to Sale. Microsoft knows that I boost the sale for that console. They know it, but are they going to acknowledge it? Why, I think not. They're not going to do that, right? Uh, and just like I'm doing right now for the Xbox One X, you're not going to see any other channel out there doing these kind of in-depth tests as I'm doing for the Xbox One X, all right? Nor do I ever ask anybody to subscribe to me or to like my videos or not. I never pressure anybody for anything. It's a free will. All right, either you like something or you don't. But I know you guys already know this, but I'm just kind of putting this out on the record. Okay, I'm not repeating this to you because I know you guys know this. My 17,000 subscribers know this, otherwise you wouldn't be subscribed to me. I'm just putting this out for the record. So the newcomers or some new people who find my channel, they understand where I'm coming from before they start making out some judgments and full accusations of me and false videos about me 
uh, so they can gain the clickbait uh, on their channel. And controversy, I'm not interested in that, but I'm just putting this out as a record. Okay. So there you have it. There you have it, guys. Hopefully you like this video. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. All right. There's going to be more videos coming up. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I like to keep it surprised. So that way you can be more excited about what I'm going to do next. It's better if you don't know what I'm going to do next. Keeps it more exciting. All right, guys. Take care.